Hello and welcome to Avastar. In this video I show how you can convert your second life shape into a fully rigged and weighted second life character mesh. I will use Avastar and its embedded Kalada exporter. So let's first select a shape from the inventory. Please ensure that the develop options are available. If the develop menu entry does not appear in your menu bar, then you can enable it by pressing Alt Ctrl Q. Now we are ready to export the shape as follows. Navigate to, Develop, Avatar, Character Test, Appearance to XML. The viewer will take your current shape, and copy it silently into a data file. All we have to do now is to get this data file into Blender. So let's go to Blender and add a new Avastar. Now locate the Avatar Shape tab in the Object Properties section. And click on the Load button. Then navigate to the Shape file. You will find it in your application data. For Windows 7 and Windows Vista, you will navigate to the Application folder of your user. Then proceed to, App Data. Roaming. Second Life. User Settings There you find a file named, newarchetype.xml And that is what you want to import Right after the import is finished, the Avastar shape will change And now it matches exactly to your appearance in Second Life Please note that the gender of your character has also been recognized and is properly set in the Shape tab And now you are ready to begin your work on your shape mesh or just use it as mock-up for making mesh attachments. When you are done with your attachment work, or with modifying the character mesh itself, then you finally want to get your work results back to Second Life. I will demonstrate the process here by using the Avastar character. Select all body parts of your shape. And then navigate to, File, Export. Here you see two separate Kalata exporters. Please always use the Avastar exporter. It will perform a few very important tasks which all are needed to make your export fit for Second Life. Now we are finished with Blender. So, let's upload the model with the mesh importer. You can check your character or attachment by enabling skin weights in the preview window. But remind this is not sufficient to get your weights into Second Life. You also must switch to the Upload Options tab, and enable, Include Skin Weight. If you forget to do that, then your mesh will not be weighted when you wear it. It is also a good idea to take a look at the Physics tab. I often select the lowest LOD here, for use as Physics Mesh. This is good for reducing the land impact, and it even results in less character lag. When you finally wear the new mesh, then you will see that the Second Life avatar shines through at some places. At other places the new mesh fully covers the Second Life avatar. And at some places you see a more or less heavy flickering. Actually the flickering appears where the mesh and the avatar match exactly. You will typically want to hide the original mesh by wearing an alpha mask. I have prepared a mask which makes the default avatar entirely invisible. And when I wear it, then only the new mesh can be seen. By now I have shown you how to export your avatar shape from Second Life, how to import the shape to Blender and how to export a shape back to Second Life. In the next tutorial I will show you how to create a mesh attachment for your current shape. Thank you for watching.